So uh, the concept behind the film was basically make it gritty and real. And from a visual effects point of view, we really wanted to, to ground it in the real world. We wanted to ground our megacity in, in a real place. For various reasons, South Africa was chosen as the location. And the cities we were going to turn into megacity were Johannesburg and Cape Town. So here's one of the Johannesburg aerial shots we took. We decided it was a good place to put the wall into Mega City. So we liked the look of the, the rundown blocks inside the wall. In addition, we were looking at cutting out huge swathes of blocks to create freeways um, going through the city. So here we have um, mega blocks going to infinity, uh, motorways going through the middle, and of course, adding drones in, which was like the surveillance technology that we decided to give Mega City. And here we have a, a place in Johannesburg that we found that was a two-tier freeway. And it was a great place for us to shoot the car chase uh, and see glimpses of megacity around it. In addition, we found a location in Cape Town which had some fantastic steps which made a, a really grand entrance to the Halls of Justice. And a helicopter plate in Johannesburg again gave us the wide shot for us to, to make this massive uh, towering building. Then we have a, a sort of establishing shot of peach trees. Again, we found a sort of a, a unfinished motorway in Cape Town, which seemed like an ideal lead into the building. For the roof shot over the top, we actually, this was actually a completely CG shot, but we did use a helicopter plate, which we reprojected onto geometry for, for the city below peach trees. Then our sort of key shot with the skate park on the side of peach trees. We actually um, shot that from a tall building in the center of Johannesburg. That also gave us some nice views of the city to establish our skate park for. The entrance to Peach Trees was done at the Civic Center in Cape Town, and there we actually created from an exterior space outside the Civic Center, we made into the interior the huge atrium where the action takes place in Dread. And again, the reverse out of the entrance to the Civic Center gives us our big finale shot when Dread walks out the building. <laughs> 